All right, hello. I figure I'd make this short video of showing uh, how to get Halo 3 Arc Bound to work to being installed. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to Nexus Mods. I already have the site. Where is it? There it is. So if you need the link, I'll drop the link down in the description uh... with the video and um... Yeah. and then what you want to do is you must change that a little notification bell for a second, I guess that's because I was still loading in and then what you want to do is you want to go down here I already downloaded this so then you want to hit manual download and of course my mouse is going to be fighting I don't know why my mouse likes to fight now. Roll bar. You want to hit on manual download. I already have this downloaded, but I'll hit it anyways so you guys can see. Now, if you guys have premium, then go ahead and get the f fast one. If not, just get the free version, which is a slow download. And then, um, oh yeah, make sure you have an account too. So if you don't have an account, that's going to kind of fooey you and then right after that I already have it downloaded like I said I just gotta dig through my files really quick look like I think I have it in pinned wise so I don't have to search for it yep I do and then you want to go to here this is what the file name will be now you got this a DLL and this DLL I believe was for AIs if you're hosting then the maps, you have to replace that. Uh, it also comes with the map variants too, which I already have set in my backups type deal right now because, you know, my MCC stopped working for me the other day. It's where I went and repaired it and reset it. That wasn't the case issue still until I ended up having to run the game, you know, with anti cheat off and close it. And I was able to run it right after that. So, what you want to do is. I'm going to have to bring up a new folder really quick. Uh, so let's open this a new tab. Now this is the directory for Windows Store version. This is the directory you want to go. That will be showing on screen. Show where. And I will show make sure this. I will show make sure it's working and such. So don't worry. So you want to go to here. Halo 3. Then we want to replace. Now here's the thing to note: we do want to replace this. If we want to replace this, we need to make it a, a backup, which I do have one actually made. So let me back out of there for a second because I do just remember I had to bring it back in because of uh, some files I put in there. So we're gonna move this back in. And we're going to get this notification. Just hit continue. Don't worry about it. So let's put it all in there. Because this is how I named it as. Because I learned the hard way. You do need to update the newer versions of the updates. Every after each season. Which is all two months now. So because I learned that the hard way. Because I went and put in the old... Uh, DLL, basically like the previous update DLL, and the map, and it stopped working. It's like, yep, nope, we're not running. It's like, oof. So that was a good thing to learn. Oh yeah, and I do have a Halo Reach one up right now, but I, but the Extinction mod is not working, so Extinction will be in another video. I was going to originally make Halo 3 and Reach ex uh, Arcbound slash Extinction mod of how to get to run tutorial when Reach got it update. But, you know, I figure I make the Halo 3 right now because, you know, yesterday I was streaming on February 19th, 2021. Um, people, uh, someone asked me about if they had the Halo 3 Arcbound mod and they wanted to play it, you know, on the PC, like how they would do it. So, 
figure I'll make this tutorial. And see, I already have the backups here. So, I'm not worried about doing backup, but you'll, you you want to make sure you make a backup, because that'll help you in the long run. So, we'll leave that out. So then we have to go to Halo 3. And so if I wanted to be the host, you know, I'll copy the DLL, because at times I like to put AIs in. So, copy, paste, place this file in the destination, yes, continue, then maps, copy, and this replaces the snow map in Halo 3 called Snowbound, paste, yes, Continue. Also, if you're going to ask, like, what's the Steam directory? I believe the Steam directory would be a little bit the same. Like, if you have Halo MCC installed into your uh, Steam, I think the the only thing you need to do is click on, right click on the name, and go to like Browse Local Files. And it should take you to something like similar to this where it's like, you know, you have a bond, data, and easy anti-G, etc. And the Halo games. And, um, so now if I want my map, the map variance that was, I have from the mod, I would do this then. I would go over in here. Copy all the ones I have that was from it. To there. Uh, I'm just going to do it for this because I don't want to be asked multiple times. And then how we know it works? Well, I'll show you. So you need to run. If you have any mods installed on MCC, you need to run this. I'm just telling it to the people that's first time, that's seeing this for the first time, wanting to do mods on the PC side. Uh, I will gladly show it. Oh, yeah, and a lot of people comment saying, boy, I wish I could play this type deal on the Xbox. Uh, sadly, it's not for Xbox. Um, I, I had to reply this a lot, even to newer people commenting on my old videos. Um, it's not playable on Xbox, but I will tell you a secret of how you can play it like it's Xbox. I just got to find my controller. There there will be a feature that pops up. And I'm surprised the game didn't load, didn't give me the screen there, because I guess because I had win the start thing, I guess. I don't know why. I hate it when it doesn't load it. So now I gotta wait, because now my thing is not responding. I don't know why it's doing that. I feel like I'm froze. Come on, load, please. I don't know why you're doing this to me. I feel like my whole PC just locked up. Now oh, it's because it's loading. It should have took me in the screen regardless, but I don't know why it's not doing it. Was it mad because I probably played SPP3 yesterday? Probably. I'm waiting until it loads. There we go. I don't know why it took a while there. No, and this is not all edited either. I hate people that make videos so like they'll we're gonna show you how to do this and that and find out it's more likely probably fake. And here's the cool thing: since on PC you could select between this and that, so we'll do Game Pack. We have that plugged in. Uh, create for right now. 
Weird, why is my frames not showing? Usually my frames per second would show. Huh. Oh, I gotta figure out what the hell's the problem there. My frames per second ain't showing. So then we wanna go to Halo 3? Of course I'm having slow loading. Don't know why. Maybe because it's loading stuff in and hasn't loaded in a while. Alright. I need to figure out why my frames per second is not turning on after this. Usually it shows my frames per second regardless when I'm in this game. Um, so we want to go to... Where was that map? There it is. Still bad. So let's... Uh, you know what? Let's pick this map. Where is that? Which map do I want to pick the most? I'm just looking for a good map to show it off. Eh, we'll just do this one. That's not. It's not going to have the AIs, but in the map doesn't mean I can't show it off. I just don't know why my frames per second is not showing at all. And that's kind of concerning. Why am I having this slow loading now? That's why I'm concerned. I'm going to see if my driver needs an update after this recording. I don't know why I'm having an issue shouldn't be giving me an issue at all. I would have done blank canvas, but I was like, eh, I just didn't feel like doing blank canvas. But right now, I just don't know why my thing's loading so slow to where, you know, I'm just booting up the game, this and that. Never loaded that slow before when I recorded. So I gotta figure out what the heck's going on. So, once it loads, it's going to take a good maybe a mm, couple minutes here. Because definitely a lot of stuff has to load up that's in this mod. Because you're probably expecting to see the snowbound map. But find out it's not the snowbound map at all. We'll show you how big the map is if I can. This is how giant the map is.